Hi Amanda, thank you so much for joining me today. Do you mind telling me a bit about yourself? I'm a certified medical physics specialist and I work as a medical physicist and radiation safety officer at the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne. So my role there has three main components to it. So the first is the regulatory requirements. So I ensure that the hospital meets all the laws and regulations around the use of radiation in the hospital. Secondly, I ensure that all our staff, patients and visitors to the hospital are safe in or around radiation areas, so our CTs or our X-ray rooms. And thirdly, I do a lot of optimisation of radiation doses, so that is to get the best quality images we can for as little radiation as possible to reduce the radiation risk. What excites you most and gives you most satisfaction in your work? Just helping people, so people seem to be overly scared of radiation and so at my work we get a lot of patients and parents coming in that really do have concerns about having an x-ray or a CT scan um, and just being able to talk to them about the risks or the lack thereof and how small the risks are, it's really satisfying to know that they're, that they're leaving without having the worries that they did come in with. What has been a key to your success? I think the biggest key to my success has been just doing what I enjoy. I did change university courses a few times and I have no regrets with that because I just did what I enjoyed and by doing that I've ended up in a job that I love going to every day. What skills do you bring to your work? I'm a physicist so you do need to understand physics and have decent math skills but as a medical physicist the biggest skill that I need is communication to be able to communicate my role and the risks and all that to different people. So I educate doctors and nurses and parents and children. So you have to be able to communicate the scientific concepts to all different types of levels of knowledge. Has gender been an asset or barrier? Um, I don't think it's been an asset or a barrier. I think I've always just been seen as a scientist, not necessarily a female scientist, and I think that's the way it should be. We should all be assessed on our skill set and not our gender. What advice would you give to girls when they are thinking about continuing or not continuing STEM subjects? Um, my advice would be to do what you enjoy doing. So if you, in, in, if you like the physics and the maths and the chemistry, then definitely do it. There's no reason why you can't. But don't feel pressured to do subjects just because someone expects you to, to always just do what you want to do and be true to yourself.